Hello everybody, welcome to Slag Play StarCraft 2. This is going to be a replay. This is actually a very important match. Um, well, because uh, the season ended yesterday, um, and I actually finished first in my division in Bronze League, and um, after, the, after the season ended, I decided to do my single placement match that I needed to do in order to uh, get myself into a new league and whatnot. Well, I did a placement match, and this is it. So this was a very important match. This was going to decide where I'm going to go in, uh, uh, where I'm going to be placed in, in this season. So, let's play. Um, as usual, we're just going to watch my perspective, and we're going to keep an eye on the production tab. Um, I call out the good luck, have fun, the guy decides not to respond. Oh god, I'm making a mess on myself. Oh. Oh god. Okay. So. I've been getting used to hot key, hot keying more. Um. I've been trying to use more hotkeys instead of just like hitting certain things. You'll notice in the uh, bottom left hand of the screen, I have these buttons changed from what they were before. It's because I've been also getting used to doing uh, create locations on my on my bases, so I can jump to a specific base I want to more quickly. Um, you can see kind of like the buttons flipping around. It's because I'm I'm just kind of uh, hit, I'm hitting these three buttons right here. Uh, just because I'm I'm waiting for more minerals to come in and whatnot. No, nothing, nothing huge. Um, I think I go pool first. Yes. Um, this is actually one of the new maps. I'm gonna I'm actually gonna go around it real quick. This is Habitation Station. Um, the bases are here and here. So really close distance. This is actually really good for dropping. Um, and then you have uh, a gold base on each side. So you got a gold base there, gold base there, and then you've got a whole bunch of bases down here you can take. Um, a lot of them are easy, easily defendable. And I, I notice his barracks first. Let me go ahead and start working on my natural. And I stop for a second to create the location. So, um, I now have my pool done. I think I'm creating an overlord right now. I am. Yep. And my overlord's getting attacked. Thankfully, it gets away before it gets killed. A lot of people like to chase it down once it gets to low health, but uh, Habitation Station is actually really good for... This is the only time I've ever played on Habitation Station, but uh, the amount of time it'll take him to get there to there, I could easily just put it up there before he could even get to it. So, he's got an SCV in there. Oop. Wrong one. So. <clears throat> um, right now... I'm just chasing down this SCV. I stop the chase and I just sit those two uh, Zerglings at the tower. Just to kind of, you know, keep an eye out. It's the only tower and it's really the only direction there. Unless he's going to try and do some kind of uh, some kind of drop, which I end up putting some overlords in, in the drop path so he can't uh, do drops easily. Well, I kind of put him in the wrong place. Um, later in the game because I have a third there and he, and he notices it and he decides to drop there, but, you know. Um, I'm just going to move my mouse cursor down here out of the way. So, um, I've got two queens now, and I think I have a third working on at my natural, I do. Uh, working on my roach horn and a second gas geyser. I want to try and get some roaches out pretty quickly. Um, Terran is my second best matchup. Uh, Protoss being my uh, my best matchup. 
ZVP being my best matchup, uh, ZVT being my second, and ZVZ being my absolute worst. That's mainly because, uh, following the same guidelines I did in my last video, most ZVZ is cheese. So, take a quick drink of my chocolate milk because it is awesome. I'm making two more overlords and I'm working on my zergling speed. I'm uh, gonna have this queen working on my cre creep spread. Look, a dedicated queen! Remember the last video? This is future Jake, make more queens. Um, my creep spread doesn't look nearly as good as it does in the last video I did, though. I can just say that right now. Making a couple more uh, drones to replace the ones I'm doing to put down my Evo chambers. Get some jicks. I see that he's got a second up. So I send some zerglings to harass. I see that thing and I'm like, oh, what the hell is that? <laughs> I was like, uh, what has he got? Marines coming around the back? Nope, oh, but he's got an SEV coming, so I stop those and I use. I use uh, just the two zerglings at the tower to take out that Marine. He was going to try and come take control of the tower. Probably thinking that I only had like one zergling there still. And I'm researching both uh, both attack upgrades. And my zergling speed comes in at the perfect time. And we're going to jump right up in here. He's got a bunker there. That's actually a really good placement for a bunker. I'm just going to see if I can take this one SCV out. It's not worth keeping that zergling alive. Um, I have more coming down. Do I hotkey those? No, I think I wait for my roaches. Make another overlord. I've been getting better at supply, uh, making overlords for supply. I supply block myself right here, but I've been getting better. Um, I should have built one more queen, but I just wasn't thinking about it. So I put those all in one control group. Need to start droning up some more though. I'm gonna send uh, send them off. I'm not gonna send them all the way over. I think I go check and see if he made a third. Um, and I'm gonna make my third. And I'm thinking, oh, I'm making my third. Let's hope he doesn't have his third. Otherwise, I am probably boned if he's mining from a third already. So. I just stick my guys right there, and since my uh, speed for roaches just happened, I can come in. He doesn't have much. Um, I was going to try and take the bunker out, but he brought in all of his SCVs to repair it. So I'm just going to take out SCVs. No, no biggie, really. And still doing damage to the thing. I'm just going to try and take out any units that come in. I'm going to lose those roaches so I don't mind. Um, not a huge thing. And I just made the third location there. I went for a carapace upgrade. Now I'm going to make some zerglings. <clears throat> um, he's mining a lot of... Uh, he's mining a lot. He's got a lot saved up, and I think it was like I was. I was wondering, you know, it's like he doesn't have that many units, but he's he's had a, a second for a while. Um, I'm gonna make a baneling nest, and this next attack actually solidifies the the build I'm gonna go. And I realize, oh, this queen's still there. Whoops! <laughs> I should probably work on my creep spread. So. I got my third up. Gonna make some overlords. He uh, he scouts. My army's already moving out though. Again, I come in. I'm gonna try and take out his army. He's got medvacs now. Uh, not a big deal. Um, I should have gotten those roaches off the ramp, and I do. Don't want to get him stuck on the ramp. He loses the bunker, which is good for me. So now I can just take out SEV after SEV. One, again, I'm not worrying about if I lose these roaches. I have a good enough economy right now that I'm not I'm not worried at all if I lose these roaches. So 
It actually wasn't this attack. I think it's the I think it's the the zerglings that come in afterwards that. Um, what did I just throw down? Throwing down a hydralisk den. It's it's this attack right now, and you can see why he's got some siege tanks uh, being produced, and that kind of solidifies the build I go for. He's got some more units being pumped out, but uh, these Zerglings are just going to overwhelm because he's got them standing in a spot where I can get a full surround. So, I'm just going to try and take out this uh, orbital and take out this SCV. He tried to save that thing way too much, and then I think I spotted the siege tank. I don't know if it hit me or not. Okay. Going for a Hydra speed. I'm gonna get some more uh, some more gas going, and I go to try up here. Oh, siege tank! I'm like, ah, fuck it. I'll just use these arguments to take out this fucking thing. That way, he'll at least have to waste some minerals to uh, make another gas geyser. And I'm gonna check on his third again, make sure he doesn't have a hidden third up there, and. Going for uh, melee attack two, and gonna do some more injects. Um, now I'm gonna drone heavy and start mining this gold. So now I've got drones on uh, both the gas there. I'm gonna make some zerglings, I think, with my next round of uh, larva. Mineral field is depleted, so I'm going to take a few of these drones and I'm going to bring them down here. And Hydra Speed is done. Uh, now I'm working on Grooved Spines, I think is what it's called. Is that, is that what this is called? Yeah, Grooved Spines, which is the range upgrade. And make some more Creep Tumors, because I forgot again. <laughs> this was a really tense match for me since it was a placement match, so I forgot about I forgot about some things, and I'm gonna throw it on my spire because I'm like, okay, well he's got a um, he's got siege tanks coming in, and I'm thinking maybe with the uh, Groove Spines upgrade I can uh, I can I can take the tanks out from a uh, farther distance. Make some more hydras. I'm throwing down the infestation pit because I'm going to go for hive. Because if this hydra, if this hydra uh, build doesn't work, I'm going to go into brood lords. Is what I'm thinking in my head. It's like, okay, if the hydras don't work, I got brood lords to back it up. And I see way too many siege tanks. I'm just like, nope. How many siege tanks? Four. And he's building more. So. And I accidentally took the Zerglings off of the uh, off of the watchtower. And he's scanning there. He sees I've got my third war up and running. So I should have. Uh, I was prepared for a drop. Oh. sorry. I just woke up. I'm kind of. I'm kind of thirsty. You can see all the minerals he has. I, you know, it's like he could have had such a bigger production. Mineral I'm just gonna drone up a lot. I think I take, I take a drone at some point, and I make another hatch. Yep, and there's the drop. You can see it on the minimap. And I'm like, oh, thank God my army's right there. And just pull the drones out. A uh, good drop spot because I can't get us around at all. But hey, guess what? Hydras. Now you don't have any way to escape. I'm gonna build some zerg some more zerglings because I lost all my zerglings, which is fine. They were pretty much just fodder for that. And he's got a third now, and I can see that just barely out of the overlord I have in the uh, 
very right side of the minimap. If you look over there, you can see it. It's like I forget about that single creep tumor. It's like, why? Okay, so I'm making some corruptors now and I'm working on my greater spire. Uh, you can't build broodlords until you get the greater spire. It takes a long time for you to get it, and you also need corruptors to do it. Um, corruptors will morph into broodlords. I'm just like, let's go and see what he's got. I wanted to try and take out a third. It's like, oh, balls. It's like, okay, let's try and take out a tank. Build more hydras. Mineral field depleted. So I throw down a fourth. I should have done that way, way sooner. Now here comes some Zerglings to back up the Hydras and the Broodlords. And here comes the Mood, uh, uh, the mood Lord. They are moody. <laughs> there we go, now my creep spread starts to look a lot better. And here comes another drop. And my broodlords are done for this one. Yeah, I don't even think he... Does he get any drones? No, I think he's too busy trying to fight off my army. Broodlords! Oh god, so good. Okay. And I stopped using this queen for a uh, creep spread, even though I wasn't really using it for creep spread anymore. Um, you can see he's building Thors now, so this guy's more of a mech player, it would seem. He was just going for bio units early. Just like, I'm just going to come over here and I'm going to get ready to take on his third. It's like I have Broodlords now, so any tanks that are there I can just fucking demolish. And I have another uh, wave of Hydras and Lings to back up my uh, my standard army. I'm just going to send those in. It's like, oh, I need to inject. It's like, oh, they just kind of walked right in there. I think I lose one, and I'm just like, ah, fuck it, send the army in. It's like I wanted to just see if I could pick off some stuff. It's like, nope, we're gonna go all in. It's like, my army's better, I see that he's got a Thor, so it's like, okay, that's what he was going for. I can just take that out. It's like, fuck it, he's gonna bring that Thor back. I'm gonna build a shit ton of Zerglings. I built some more Corruptors too. I'm more for another Broodlord, because I lost a few. And there come the Thors. It's like, okay, well, your Thors are no match for my Broodlords. He tries to bring some SUVs in so he could repair it. It's like he's got a planetary for he's got a planetary fortress right there. It's like I'm gonna build some more corruptors so I can make more broodlords. It's like I'm just gonna try and take out some SUVs. Broodlords have an extreme range, so anything with a standard range is not going to be able to hit. I'm like, oh, that's what's attacking me. Thors. And it's just like, oh no, now he's got Vikings. If only I had some Corruptors that were coming in right now. <laughs> And I guess he sees him and he's just like, nope, I'm done. So, that was that game. That was a really good game for me. It was a really, pretty much, um, my placement match. And because of it, because of that match, I got placed into Silver League. Woo! <laughs> Um, that's something I've been uh, working towards since I actually started playing this game more serious. Um, you can see my highest career finish is uh, bronze. 
I'm hoping to this season, which how long is this season? When does this season end? 312. So in three months, I'm hoping to finish um, in silver. Maybe not first, but yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed the match. It was a really good one for me. And I will see you all next time.